Vegas stays in Vegas. Las Vegas, the city that never sleeps. People come from all over the world just to act a fool. Oh, you like the gamble? Not a problem, my guy. Spend that bag. Oh, you like strip clubs? Mm. Shorties damn near butt naked, my boy. Oh, you like the party party? Best nightlife in America. But behind the glitz and glamour, there is the dark side. Reason why Vegas is known as Sin City. I'm talking the gambling addiction, the sex trade, the crime, the violence, and lastly, the prostitution. When I was a young kid, I thought Vegas was a place where everybody goes to have a time of their lives. And that, my God, is where this story begins. For this story, I'm going to take you back, back to my first trip to Vegas. So it was a few years back. No, at the time, my closest cousin was getting married. So I'm at the crib, and then my phone goes off. Hello? Yo, Tim, it's your favorite cut. What's up, Jason? What's up? Guess what, my boy? I'm getting married, kid. Dude. Damn, stupid. <laughs> nah, I'm just playing, cuz. Congratulations. Listen, I need you, bro. What you need? I need a bachelor party. Say less. Now, as requested, my job was to plan the greatest bachelor party there ever was. So I started thinking, okay, Tim, what's the best place to have a bachelor party? Hmm. Atlanta. Ooh, wait. They got the best strip clothes, my guy. <laughs> Too close. What about Miami? Yeah, love me some warm weather. Oh, Vinny hit me. What's better than Viva Las Vegas? So I called my cousin, told him about the idea, and homie was loving it. But here's the problem. Flying to Vegas costs money. So I got a second job. So a few weeks go by, and I get to purchase my ticket. Now, lucky for your boy, I got first class ticket, my guy. First class on Spur. Just in case you don't know, ain't no first class on Spur Airlines. Plane so damn cheap, they don't even offer peanuts for free. Did ask. Even asking for water costs money. So we bought the plane, fly all the way to the West Coast, and we finally make it to Las Vegas. Damn, we're in Vegas for real. So we get a taxi. Now, fellas, if you ever go to Vegas, quick tip, never get a taxi. These fools would always take a long way to charge you a buck. So we finally make it to our hotel, check into our rooms, and then it was time to part. Hey, first thing we did was spend that money, my guy. Come on, please, God, let this be my lucky day. Yes! I won! I guess tonight's our lucky night, baby! So next, we headed over to the club and we started cooking. Remember, the city that never sleeps, right? So we up right around 2 a.m. in the morning and your boy was lit. So I'm chilling, then this beautiful lady comes up to me. Hi, I'm Paris. You here for business? Oh, pleasure. Oh, <laughs> show me this guy. Well, I'm here for all the smoke, baby. Well, I like you. Now here's the thing, I'm a screech ninja. So my spotty sense started tingling. Hold up, wait a minute. This shorty's awfully nice to me at this time of the night. And by the way, she dressed in a short skirt, titties out, booty popping, long heels, red bottom. Mm -mm. It all hit me. Now for the uninformed, Vegas is infamously known for having escorts, AKA hookers. Now the problem is, most people think prostitution is legal in Nevada, which is true and untrue. See, it's only permitted in a handful of licensed brothels in 10 of the state's 16 counties. Oh, Vegas, mm -mm. Vegas is in Clark County, my boy. That's illegal. And penalty for soliciting prostitution gives you up to six months in jail and a fine of up to a thousand dollars. But I'm really dumb, so I figured, why not? I'm in Vegas, baby. So I get to my brother, yo, Lem, you wanna play a prank on Jason? What you got in mind? So my brother and I came up with the dumbest idea. We paid Paris to hit on cuz. So Paris goes over to Jason and starts working on magic. Now Jason's having a ball. Yo, Tim, you right, dog? This is our lucky night. You see Shorty over there? She's all over me. And get this right, her name's Paris. Get the heck out of here. Hey, don't do anything stupid. Come on, bro. So Jason goes back to having a blast. I go use the bathroom. Then I get a couple more drinks and come back. Where's Jason? So I get to my brother. Yo, Lem, you seen Jason? I thought he's with you. With me? I was in the bathroom. Now we start panicking. See, Jason's been drinking a little too much. And something about alcohol makes you make the dumbest decisions. So I get outside, look around. Jason's nowhere to be seen. Oh, damn. What we gonna tell his fiance? So we get upstairs, get to his room. Jason, you in there? Jason. But 
was answering. So we get downstairs, get to the front desk, and ask permission to enter my cousin's room. But according to hotel policy, only the owner can have the keys to access the room. Damn. So we get back upstairs and knock on the door some more. Jason, you in there? Open up. But still, no one's answering. Yo, what you think, Tim? Should we call the cops? Yeah. So I dial 911. 911, what's your emergency? Yes, my cousin is Miss. And then it hit me. Wait a minute. The last person I left with Jason was a hooker. Now, if I tell the cops, I'm going to have to self-incriminate myself and get Jason in trouble. Obviously, you can't call the police and report a missing person while you're trying to get booty. They're saying GTA, my boy. So, my guy, I got one question for you. What would you do? Call the cops and self-incriminate? Oh, hope to God the homie's good. See, the problem is, Vegas is known for having too many stories of people getting all their valuables stolen after being drugged by escorts and pimps. So, look at my brother. He looks back we decide F it. we're gonna have to break into the hotel room so we start banging the door jason open up banging some more. jason jay and then the door finally gives inside, and this fool's laid out sleep what the we out here working to death and this fool is knocked out sleeping but thank oh cuz was good so we head back to our rooms went to sleep and then it was the next morning yo jay you remember last night bro my head is killing me you mean you don't remember nah last thing i remember was we were in the club and i was talking to i think paris so come to find out jason blacked out and to everyone's surprise paris took the homie all the way back to his room tucked him in and left but an angel so paris if you're still out there thank you girl we owe you one i guess it's true what they say never judge a book by its cover so for the rest of the trip, we learned our lesson, spent the next two days dressed in white to thank God and flew back home safely. Now that, my guy, was my first trip to Vegas. But always remember, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. So moral of the story, never judge a book by its cover because the world is full of monsters with friendly faces and angels full of scars.